Steve, what, sa what saves time, money, and prevents you from swinging the drive through on the way home? Nothing is coming to my mind. It's called oh. batch cooking. It's prepping oh. a whole week's worth of meals at once. A huge trend, and I actually do this every single Sunday. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, so one easy thing that you can prep ahead, protein, because it makes those meals come together quicker. Thanks to the help of our sponsor, the Minnesota Beef Council, we have a registered dietitian here with Make Ahead Recipes packing punches of protein. Help us welcome Renee Korzak to take some Hi, Okay, she's got the steak right here on in the pan. Oh, I've get been her busy out. cooking. I've been really, All really right, busy cooking, guys. I need to put you to really work. Like, okay, All let's right. do this. Kelly, you cut this. We're going to put together an inside out steak salad. Just slice it here. Now, wait a second. Do you know how you're cutting this? No, Renee, I don't can know. you please make sure that she's. How you cut you this is cut important. It, so I, okay, tell you me what sure to do, Renee. It's really important that you cut against the grain. So in steaks, it's all about finding that muscle fiber and cutting against it. Okay, I so think she was about to cut with the grain because am I seeing this right? I'm seeing grains coming absolutely. across here. So, Kelly, you were about to go there with the grain. That would have been a chewy piece of steak. We need to turn that and slice it that way. Treat it like a flank steak. <sighs> all right, Look at this pro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, real Drop good. the mic. Real good. Okay, am Woo. I doing this right, Steve? Am I, did I do it wrong again? Yeah, you've done it wrong twice. Okay, here, Please. let's switch spots. <laughs> this, okay. uh, this is what Elizabeth feels like with me in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, so, so we're going to want to go. Steak against yes. the, All right, now with I'm the just, grain. I'm holding it like a caveman. <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. Against okay, the grain. Against the grain. I need yes. to learn this. Okay, That's so what we're going to make, do. what is this, like a steak wrap? Yeah, with so we lettuce? have uh, an inside out steak salad. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you assemble this pretty nicely. It's a nice, healthy meal. Uh, the steak in this recipe is really going to fill you up. It's a source of high quality protein. It's going to keep you full, it's going to give you energy. Okay, so cooking steak ahead of time, you can do this. When you slice it up, you can store it in your refrigerator and just throw it on like a salad or a wrap like this, right? Super easy. This is great for batch cooking. I think that's, that's the idea. We're also busy. We need stuff on the go, so we have to make sure we have quick, healthy recipes every single day. <laughs> Look at Thank that you. bite. <laughs> Thank right. you, Steve. So, we cut the beef correctly. Yes. And then, what is our next step for assembling this inside out salad? Well, I'm going to have you go for it here. So, we okay. have this beautiful Boston bib lettuce. I'm going to have you take a couple scoops of this nice vegetable blend. And what's awesome about this is it doesn't have to be this blend. You can use oh, whatever this. is in your refrigerator. I so call you, it like a little garbage salad. You've right? got edamame <laughs> in here, cucumber, red pepper, red onion. That looks real good. Okay, and then what? What's next? Then you can take your beautiful steak here that was That's properly cut. Yeah. Beautifully cut, Steve. Actually, you missed a little spot. All right, get that here. right there. That's fine. Okay, great. Put that on there, and then what else? What comes next? Then you can uh, do some toppings. So we have some slivered almonds and goat cheese. So oh, whatever, yummy. whatever you like. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And then this is great because then you just wrap it up, just like I'm always used to doing this as a chicken lettuce wrap, mm -hmm. right? Lettuce. But the idea of getting some beef inside of there doesn't that look wonderful? And that presentation looks really good. Here, let's put a little cheese on there. Absolutely. Why not? And right? then if you're doing, listen, I'm doing low carb right now, and this yeah. would be, I mean. In fact, let's just set this aside for okay. later. For later, for oh, dinner. Yeah, during the commercial, that's wonderful. Um, how about, I want to know, Renee, uh, you, you're a dietitian. What are the, your, your three lean cuts of beef that you go to? So important. So when you're in the grocery store, you should be looking for anything with the, the term loin. So sirloin, um, you oh. can do a strip steak, flank steak as well. What's up with that? Why are we looking for the term loin? What does that mean for the layman? So that's basically the, the leaner part of the cow. Um, oh. Those muscles have been, um, you know, exercise, they're, they're just leaner, and that's really going to So the meat shouldn't nice get healthy. too tough. It should exactly. stay pretty nice and not so chewy. Okay, mm -hmm. now we've got a steak and Asian noodle salad. What has been happening here <laughs> Yum. behind our back? So this, yeah, behind your back, this has been pre-marinated, and yeah. this is extremely easy to do. Uh, a little bit of lime juice, Asian sesame dressing, and some hoisin sauce. Oh, that's easy. Um, and then if you can, folks, if you can think about it as we batch, talk about batch cooking and making ahead, if you can marinate this overnight in your fridge. That's going to be so much better. I always remember yeah. 30 minutes before, I'm like, ooh, I should probably <laughs> marinate that really quick. I know, and then you do, and it tastes okay, but it's so much better overnight. If you can do it overnight, the, the flavor's going to lock in. It's going to taste wonderful. Okay. okay, so then you've got your meat tasting and flavored the way that you would want it to. How do we put together the rest of this salad? Asian noodle salad, so easy. So what I have here is some buckwheat soba noodles. So I want you to take a nice scoop of those and put it in this. What kind of noodles are these? Buckwheat soba, buckwheat. typical. 
Okay. I've never heard of it before in my life. I've never, I've never had that soba, kind of noodle. Soba noodles, but what's great is you don't have to use these. You can use whole wheat spaghetti or whatever okay. type of noodles you have. Okay. And then can I just covered. go in like with some stir fry veggies? Sure, go for it. On top? And that's kind of the same mixture here. So you could kind of prep this, this whole mixture and use it throughout your meals as well. I love that idea. That's simple. Okay. Can I hit it with a little bit of that? How Drizzle. Do we, how do we feel? Go for it. Oh, go here, for let's it. get you some steak. Yeah, and then you get some me some steak. Okay. Well, that's pretty simple, right? Really Kelly, simple. could you work this in? You actually do the batch cooking. The rest of us just read about it online. I do. I do. I get my all my beef ground, um, all of my protein ready to go, and then I kind of dump it in things. Mm -hmm. So it works really easy, especially for lunches. Could you so. add these to your repertoire? Does I totally seem... could, but I don't know how to cut the steak. So <laughs> That's right. So I'm going to have you teach me how to once, do that. Once you get that figured out, girlfriend, you're going to soar. It's going to be great. I think everyone needs so a good knife skills class. Yeah. It's, um, it's not easy to do sometimes. No kidding. Yeah. Thanks, Renee. We yeah, appreciate uh, that. Uh, you can find plenty of dinner ideas on the Minnesota Beef Council's website. That is mnbeef.org. There's more to come. Stay with us.